Hello, all you angels out there. This is Chef Shonda and Angel Stuff. Kisses, how are you guys today? I am doing great. As you guys see, I am out here at the park enjoying this beautiful sunshine. I am was going to take my walk and do a blog on that, but I guess I'll take my walk after I do this blog because I didn't really want to carry around the little selfie stick, so um, I don't know. I just can't decide to come with you guys today, chop it up with you guys, you know, and all getting to know Chef Shonda. Um, I'm here, it's a little waterfall over there, so it's really loud, but it's beautiful. And sometimes I come out here to the park, this is where I get my peace of mind at, and um, I just go for a walk. I just go for a walk. I just, in my daily life, um, pray to God. I go for a walk. I try to just let loose and be at peace with myself. Um, always looking for some me time. You know, always looking for some me time. I love to work in the garden. I love to work outside. Uh, I mostly like doing exercises outside. Now, like I have stated before, I do have a membership to a gym, but you know, me and gym equipment, we just don't get along. But I do like the water aerobics. I do like working out, you know, in the water. For some reason, I'm like a fish. I love water. You know, I like the, the sauna. Uh, I like the hot tub. So that part of a gym, I do love that part. So, but as far as being out here with nature, and just experiencing like all the beauty of it and the coolness of it like i'm in love with that so it's always like a lot of people out here walking around you know you have to be careful because of the virus and all but you know most of the time people are pretty much just jogging and doing their own thing riding their bikes so it's not you know you know, trying to be careful, but just, you know, doing your own thing. So I'm, I'm down here right now, and as I'm sitting, where I'm sitting at at the park, I'm just by myself. So it's peaceful, it's quiet. You know, you, I have the waterfall behind me over there, and I'm just here, just doing a little blog, you know. Sometimes I like to get out here. Um, I like to pray. I like to thank God, you know. Whew, just keeping me humble you know striving to be better than i was yesterday you know staying thirsty staying you know grateful you know constantly you know praying for the world praying for the people and just trying to keep my peace of mind and everything that's going on in the world you know so i don't know like as a mother you know i'm a new well a newlywed i've almost been married two years i've been with my husband like four years um i have four children so i have two children of my own a girl and a boy and my husband has two children a girl and a boy so together four children i don't think there'll be any more in the mix everybody always says you know since you're recently married are you going to have any more kids? Uh, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Only because, I, it, you know, my motto is try to raise up the children that I have in this world. All that's going on today. Unless God says otherwise, I just want to try to, you know, get the kids that we have through elementary, through middle school, through high school, through college. You know, that's a big enough task in itself. And hopefully, you know, God will bless them to find God-fearing people, you know, husband and wives, and they can be able to bring us back some grandchildren. Not too soon, but that's what I'm hoping for. So I know you guys see me doing mukbanging a lot, and I hope it's not too, you know, slippery, smacking on the fingers and smacking. I do a lot of smacking and stuff like that. When you guys truly see me mukbanging like normally when i go out to eat or something like that like i really don't eat like that um i do eat a lot of food of course you guys know i'm a certified chef you know so i've been to school 
Um, I worked as a chef in the industry, and now I'm trying to build my business from the ground up and angel stuff. And what an angel stuff represents is just me, you know what I'm saying? And food that is inspired, you know what I'm saying, from heaven. You know, I always pray when I'm cooking. I always try to pray when I'm cooking. I always try to ask God to help me, give me the recipe, give me something fresh, give me new ideas. So that's what an angel stuff truly is, just embracing new ideas, embracing my creativity and everything that comes from me and not really using recipes, just letting it flow. And that's what cooking is about. When I get in the kitchen, I try to just let my creativity flow and try to make things that are just delightful and delicious. Sorry if you guys may hear like, you know, boom boxes or, you know, cars coming. It's all a part of just being out here in nature and just enjoying the everydayness, the beauty of it all. And, and a big part of my days are being out here in nature. So that's just letting you guys get to know a little bit of me. So, but back to an angel stuff, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, my business means a lot to me. You know, I do fresh uh, pastries. I do so many different foods, you know. Um, I specialize in different types of cuisines. I specialize in my own made up cuisines and desserts. Cooking for me is just my complete joy and I'm constantly and always in the kitchen. That's why on my page, you know, sometimes I used to guys see me mukbanging other stuff, you know, like Taco Bell or Chipotle. But most of the time you'll see me mukbanging food that I've made myself because I'm just constantly in the kitchen making delicious food. So, you know, I don't eat out a lot. You know, I do eat out, but I don't eat out a lot. You know what I'm saying? I try to cook. I love to cook. It's where I find my peace at. That's another way I find my peace. Just being in the kitchen. Sometimes I might have a glass of wine. And sometimes I just may be tasting ingredients, cooking ingredients, carving ingredients. Sometimes I might be just be in the kitchen writing down different ingredients and different ideas of things I want to, or just researching online different ideas and things like that. But cooking is my absolute love. You know, that's why I went to college for it. You know, graduated from culinary arts school because it's my absolute love. So one day my hope and joy is I believe that you guys will one day come into my restaurant, be able to sit down and just enjoy the beauty of, you know, what I see. It'll probably look just serene and just, um, you know, something sort of the outside, but in the inside, when I bring you out these delicious um, dishes inspired by Chef Shonda. So that's my dream. Um, that's my goal for one day for people to be able, for my food to be able to bring people joy, for my food to be able to make people smile and just be happy. I also like to cook healthy food. You know, foods that are, you know, rich in goodness and, you know, packed with vegetables and fruits, you know, for people to enjoy. So, yeah, that is a big part of me. I just love to cook, you guys. It comes from my heart and soul, you know. So, yeah, I'm just so thankful for the subscribers that I do have, for the people that support me. I'm looking forward to my channel growing. I'm looking forward to being able to bless people, you know, with muck, more mukbangs and more blogs of you guys just getting to know me. You know, I exercise, I exercise slowly. You know, I'm not like, you know, constantly or hardcore about it, but that doesn't mean one day I don't want to be. I see myself when I reach the age of 50, being in the best shape of my life. So, you know, those are goals. I've set goals for myself and praying to God, knowing that they will come to pass. Um, I just wanted to sit with you guys and, you know, really for you guys to get a chance to get to know me. Um, I love doing so many things, you know what I'm saying? I love, like I said, going out to eat. Uh, Sometimes I love having people over to eat. 
you know I just love family I'm a big family oriented person I love getting together with my family I love you know I'm uh, cooking jumping on the grill just having a good time so you know I'm sorry it was like a lot of you know cars going back and forth like where I am is like right on the strip so all the cars are going but that's the beauty of being outside that's what I wanted you guys to experience that's what I wanted you guys to see so in a minute I'll, I'm gonna go over and show you guys the waterfall that's making up all this noise but it's just so peaceful and as this wind blows past in the peacefulness of it I'll eventually go for my walk I'll probably walk an hour you know just to get some exercise in you know nothing intense but just to get the the lung the lungs moving the heart pumping and just to continue to self-care and take care of me but um yeah I love my um, YouTube page like I said I love mukbanging um, when I do mukbang, you guys, I want you to know that I am in my element. You know what I'm saying? Because eating food, not only cooking, but eating food is also a joy for me. Experiencing a different flavor. That's why when I cook, I jam pack my food with so much flavor. You know, I want people to be able to enjoy that. I want people to be able to taste that. So. When I'm eating my food, I really am enjoying all of the delicious flavors. So that's probably why I get a little bit of animated. You know, good food, it makes me want to dance, you know, because I, I'm just so happy. So I'm happy when I'm cooking it, and I'm also happy when I'm eating it. So what you see on camera is absolutely the truth. I am happy when I'm eating that food, the same happiness as I am when I'm in the kitchen preparing the food. So I am just so thankful, you know. I'm thankful you guys came to chop it up with your girl. I'm thankful to God who is the head of my life. Another thing about me is you guys don't know, I'm a minister. So I am a, a minister, recently became ordained, you know, not even that long ago, probably five months or so ago. So I am a minister, God is, the head of my life you know first and foremost I try to put him first and foremost in my life you know my daily walk the way that I treat people the way that I greet people but you guys know I'm just human though you know I'm not anything that's extraterrestrial or you know anything that's not of this earth I do have my days you know of ups and downs I, tr I am a huge praiser you know, I tell people I was born to praise the Lord because I am a radical praiser, you know, because there's nothing that I can do to, to pay him back. I tell him all the time for all that you've done for me in the good time and in the bad time. So I'm a radical praiser. If you guys ever see me praising the Lord, don't get afraid. It's just my expression to him because I have nothing else to give to him. He's so awesome and he's so great. Hallelujah. I just thank him for being my everything. You know, he didn't been with me through the good times. He didn't been with me through the bad times. And you're looking at someone that is grateful. Who I apologize. I get when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I'm so sorry, you guys. I didn't. I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to, you know, take you guys to church today. But when I talk about God, it's hard for me to talk about God without getting excited because He's just been so good to me. But I'm so thankful, you guys, uh, for all my subscribers, for everyone that support me. You know, my channel is very small. You know, I'm hoping it to grow, grow, and grow. Um, if you guys have any content to help me, any recipes you guys want to see me cooking, anything you guys want to see me eating, just, you know, shoot me a comment below. I would love to, you know, come with new things if you guys have anything because everything that I cook is just what I decided to cook for that day or for dinner. So if you guys have any new ideas, I would like to come with some desserts. 
I would like to come with some fresh fruit mukbangs, you know, and some different things, but I'm just so happy, you guys. <laughs> I'm so happy, you guys. Um, again, um, today I'll be doing a mukbang, of course. Um, I'm going to try to put to put down two mukbangs today. So if you guys are tuning in, make sure you don't miss out on those two mukbangs. Also, my channel is in transition, you guys, as I have invested in different types of things to try to make my channel better i'm also learning as a youtuber how to be a youtuber you know everything all of this is new to me you know even the way how i tighten this tripod you know how i put this tripod together as it's a little bit shaky i'm still learning everything about youtubing but i have faith in myself and i won't give up i know that is my channel is going to be great um what else i love children you guys uh i have a i have a big heart for kids i'm a child i'm a kid at heart so when you guys see me just laughing and joking around that's truly how i am you know a lot of people take me i think too serious because my heart is always in the right spot like when i'm laughing and joking around me and my brothers and sisters we crack jokes constantly at each other and it's like we do that constantly with each other and we laugh it off and it's done me and my brothers and sisters we fight and we get over it and it's done but when we come in contact with some with other people you know they don't take it like us you know i always say my mother she raised us in a different type of way and that is to love each other no matter what and support each other no matter what and that's what we try to do with, but letting each other have our own lives and be individuals, but still coming together when it's time to come together, loving each other when it's time to love each other, supporting each other when it's time to support each other. So, but like I said, I'm a big jokester. Sometimes my jokes, you know the type of person that has jokes, sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're not funny, but they don't know it, that's me. So I'm a big jokester. Um, Constantly, I made some people laugh and I made some people mad, you guys, <laughs> and not even know it. But I just want you guys to know that I'm always in my heart mean well. Although people always sometimes take me the wrong way, you know what I'm saying? I really love people. I'm real, I'm a, I'm a giver. Not only am I, I'm a, I'm a giver, I'm a supporter of people. Like I said, I support people. You know, if I believe in what you're doing, I'm going to support you. You know, sometimes I support people even when I don't believe in what they're doing because it's just the right, you know, the right thing to do. You know, support people because what they're passionate about, you might not be passionate about, but it's, it's passion to them. So I try to support people. I try to love people no matter what. I try to forgive quickly. I do get mad. But I try to get over things the same day, and I try to forgive quickly. I never, you know, things are never in the back of my mind. If somebody does me wrong, I might, you know, think about it that day. Sometimes I pray for you, and sometimes I, if you make me mad enough, I might not pray for you. But <laughs> I try to forgive people that day, and the next day, seriously, we'll be just fine. Because that's just how I am. I don't like to hold grudges and I don't like to have people take up that space in me. Now I have had really close friends that I'm not really close to now and you know I don't know what happened other than people just live their lives and you know they're going in different directions but that doesn't mean I don't still love them. You know I still love them if they needed me today I will come running. If they called me up today hey Shonda I need you I will come running. A lot of people are not like that for me, but I am the kind of person that's like that. You may not hear from me every day. I'm going to make sure you hear from me every once in a while. I'm going to make sure that I at least say, hey, I love you. I'm going to at least say, I make sure I say, hey, how's your day going? You know, kisses. <laughs> you know, but if, 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 the, if you needed me, I'm going to come running, you know, like I'm just that type of friend. Like you may not see me every day because I'm just busy, you know, invested in my, in my own dreams. But if you need me, I'm just a phone call away. I'm, I'm going to come running. You know, I'm going to make time for my friends. And if I can help you, I surely will. But 
I am excited, you guys. I'm glad that you guys came and sat with me, chop it up with me today. Hey, 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 with your girl. Just getting to know me a little bit piece by piece. I'm gonna do a couple more, some more blogs, you guys. I wanna do some exercise blogs. I wanna get into some cooking blogs, which is my absolute favorite thing to do. So I hopefully you guys will stay tuned in. You know, like, subscribe to my channel if you have not already done that. So you guys can meet up with your girl when I'm on here um, and continue to get to know me. You know, I do hair, um, different things with my hair. You know, you guys will always see me with my hair different. I'm a natural girl, but sometimes you guys will see me with my hair flat iron. Sometimes you guys will see me with braids in. And it's just to contain my hair because I don't like doing my hair every day. You know, I'm a natural girl, and when I was little, you know, my mom did my hair, but like I tell everybody, I would be much happy as a nappy head. You know, totally going in my natural element, you know, putting natural, you know, things in my hair, but combing it less. I'm not really tender-headed, but I'm just a wash-and-go type of girl. Unfortunately, my hair is not like that. Um, <laughs> I know I've been all over the place today, you guys. Just trying to, you know, blog and let you guys get an insight and just know more about Chef Shonda and my love for things and what I represent. You know, so I represent God. I represent peace. I represent family. I represent love. I represent cooking, happiness, eating, getting together, and just showing people love. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love to go to church, you guys. I love to assemble myself with other true believers. I love to just be in the atmosphere of the Lord. I praise God all the time in my home. You know, so won't be surprised if you knock on my door and you come in and it's church music going on and we're just lifting up holy hands. But I thank you guys for coming to join me today. Um, hopefully you guys will join me for some more of my mukbangs, you guys. Um, I'm so happy. I'm going to show you guys this uh, waterfall, you guys. <sighs> so beautiful. It's going to it's gonna be a little bit loud, so I won't, you know, this is, this type of stuff right here is what is beautiful about. <sighs> so sitting right here. Enjoying this water. So beautiful. But you guys, be inspired. The sun is out. I love the sun, you guys. The sun is out. Be encouraged. Be inspired. I love you guys. Continue to look to the hills which come at your help. Continue to seek and put God first, you know, as the head of your life. You know, if that's what you do, I love you, even if you don't. Because <laughs> everybody's different. Everybody have their own way of being and everybody's different um i'm gonna pray with you guys before i go just to give god all the glory and all that he is doing all that he has done you know gracious heavenly father i just come to you right now just say thank you lord i lift your name up i exalt you on high oh god i worship you to the highest lord you are the king of my world hallelujah lord I, I raise you on high i put you first oh god in everything that i do i look to the hills which come with my help oh god i pray for you know the people that's watching this the people of the world oh god that you will hear their prayers oh god they lift up holy hands unto you lord just to say thank you lord Thank you for the things that you've already done, oh God. Hallelujah, how you have kept us, oh God. Hallelujah, from danger seen and unseen, oh God. Have you have kept our children, oh God, from danger seen and unseen, oh God. We worship you, oh God. We lift you up. We love you today, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. And we just want to say thank you. Continue to lead and guide our footsteps into what you would have us to be in this life. Continue to keep us humble. Hallelujah, Lord, surrendering unto your will and everything that you have for us to do, oh God. I thank you for what you're doing in my life. I thank you for what you're doing in the people that's watching live. I thank you for what you're doing in my children's lives as you protect our children, oh, children, oh God. From any hurt, harm, or danger, oh God, put the enemy under our feet, oh God. Hallelujah, Lord, keep us just humble. Hallelujah, keep us being a help to one another, oh God. 
hallelujah show us new ways uh, and new ideas oh God how to get involved in our community oh God how to lift up your name hallelujah into this world Lord we're starving for you oh God come and see about us come and visit us oh God we love you Lord we love you with all our mind body and soul it is in Jesus name that we pray thank God and amen from an angel stuff and chef Shonda kisses bye you guys